it's remarkable what a good run of form can do for a football club. With Karnak Thistle now unbeaten in 2019, the dark cloud which lingered over for Hill for well over a year appears to be lifting. Perhaps the most relieved man in the Thistle dressing room is Blair Spittle, who feels he can finally start enjoying his Player of the Month awards having previously felt embarrassed to receive the accolade. For Hill fans voted the midfielder their top performer for the second month in a row during the sequence which saw the Jags steady what had appeared to be a sinking ship with three wins and two draws. Spittle had been similarly honored in December, but with the team managing just one win over the festive period it just didn't feel right. Partick Thistle's Blair Spittle feels he can finally start enjoying his Player of the Month awards. While Gary Caldwell's men still occupy the relegation playoff spot in the championship sitting a point above bottom side Falkirk they've managed to drag Dunfermline and Alloa back into the battle for survival. Spittle has certainly played his part. Because results weren't going our way and we were sitting bottom, you're not going to celebrate winning player of the month," admitted the 23-year-old. Although it's nice to get these awards, you feel like you shouldn't be getting them. It's important to be honest in that situation. If you sit there and keep saying, we'll turn it around you become complacent. We started taking responsibility for our own results and look what's happened. Look how upbeat the place is now we've managed to put a good few results together. Gary Caldwell's men still occupy the relegation playoff spot in the championship. It does feel better this month picking up this award. Everyone can see the improvements we've made in January. Personally, I feel I've consistently got better and the team has started to pick up points. It's important we use this as a stepping stone to start climbing the league. Twelve months ago, with Thistle battling to stay in the top flight, Spittle was receiving the brunt of fans' criticism with a section calling for him to move on in the summer. He stayed put after relegation however, feeling he owed it to supporters to make things right. While he didn't hit the ground running at the start of the season, the dead bull specialist feels he's now back to his best. Towards the end of last year, I was fuming and I didn't want to leave on a sour note, he confessed. I got off to a good start when I first joined Thistle, but once we came back from the winter break my performances weren't there and I was in and out the team. I tried to block out all the criticism, but I was disappointed in myself with my performances. I'm quite hard on myself, even away from football. If I had a bad game, I was dwelling on it for a few days, whereas now I try not to take it back home with me. As soon as I get away from training or games, I don't mention it and I feel that's helped me. We didn't get off to the best possible start to this campaign, but, as the season has worn on, I feel I've got better. It's been a hard year, but we've got that opportunity now to put things right. There's no point saying we've done it, we're still in ninth place, so we need to keep this momentum going. Thistle can reach the last eight of the Scottish Cup if they beat East Fife tomorrow. Cup runs have been in short supply in recent years, with 2017's quarter-final appearance their first for almost a decade. You want to go as far as you can in the cup because it generates a real feel-good factor," said Spittle. The fans get buzzing for it and we'll take a good crowd to East Fife. Hopefully, we can repay them with a